Hey everyone, welcome back. This is MAJ Cooking, um, summer special number two. We've been away for a little bit too, just because we've been busy with many things lately. Yeah, we have. Okay. We're back. Yeah, we're back. Super, super excited about today. You know, it was about six years ago. You probably may not remember, but it was six oh, yeah. years ago. You actually remember the trip. We were in San Miguel. Oh yeah, yeah. It was our first family trip to San Miguel, and we had an absolute blast. Yeah. We ate so well. Yeah. We had so many amazing meals, and there's one dish that we had that was one of my personal favorites. We're gonna try it tonight. Marcella Guananash. I don't know what that is. Okay. Would you like to explain? <laughs> <laughs> that is Portuguese blood sausage with pineapple. Such a famous dish. It didn't matter what restaurant we went to, it was always on the appetizer menu. We're gonna recreate that today. So very, very simple. We have some beautiful, very nice and sweet pineapple. And we have a very nicely uh, seasoned, very well flavored Portuguese blood sausage. We call it Rusala. What are we gonna serve that with, Miguel? So we're gonna, what we're gonna be doing today, we're gonna be making bread rolls, like homemade bread rolls. Wow. So, okay, we're gonna so how, how, how's the bread gonna work? So what we're gonna use, we're gonna be using about half a teaspoon of salt. It'll help um, give us more flavor too mm -hmm. for the salt. Mm -hmm. We got one and three quarters cup of flour. But that's a lot of flour, but it's gonna help bind together and make that bread what it needs to be. Then we also got about uh, we got about I think a tablespoon of sugar. Sugar, okay. And the sugar it'll also help just for flavor. It'll help it um, again bind together, and that's and then we have our yeast. Our yeast. This is important because for bread you're gonna need yeast, like for any type of bread. So we got about half a tablespoon of yeast, okay. and then we're gonna just gonna fill it up three quarters of the way with some water, with some warm water because hot water will kill your yeast. Same with cold water. Warm water is the best for your yeast. It'll help wake it up and it'll help um, get it nice and ready for your bread. And it'll look, let it bloom. Amazing. Yeah. Super simple bread recipe. You got like four ingredients here. We're going to add some water, like you said, to the yeast. Yeah. We got to get started because this bread, I'm sure, needs, needs time. time. Of course. So let's get to it. Let's do it. Okay, everyone, so we're gonna get started with our bread. Um, um, we already got some water with our yeast. It's warm water. We gave it a little bit of a whisk just to help um, mix everything together. So what I got here, you can, you're gonna put your su the sugar that we already said, you're just gonna put it in with your yeast. Because salt will kill your yeast, but sugar will help it. Now we're just gonna give it a little bit of a whisk just to mix it together. Whisk it together, get it nice and mixed together. And there we go, very quick mix. And now we're gonna let it bloom. So blooming is important for your yeast because it'll help um, get your yeast ready for your flour. So what we've done is we put our water, we put our sugar and everything, and we're gonna let it sit. Once it's done being, we'll know how it'll be done by, there's a little bit of foamy stuff on the top when it's fully foamed on top. That's how we know it's done blooming. And that'll help our bread. So now we're gonna get on to our mixer. We got our mixer here. This is your. This is gonna be your bread hook, so you can mix everything together, and it's just a lot easier. So we're gonna get started with it. All right, everyone. We're gonna get started with our um, with our bread. So I got my flour and I got my salt here. We're gonna put it into the into the big mixer and let it mix up a little bit for about 20 to 30 seconds, and then we're gonna put in our our mixture. So I'm just gonna get started with our flour and then our salt. Let salt in there, and then once that's done, put our mixer down. Make sure it's locked so nothing goes up. And we're just going to put it onto setting one. It's going to be a little bit loud. And we're going to let it mix up, and it's going to combine everything. And then once that's done, we're going to get started with our um, yeast mixture. So all right. So now that this is done, we're going to turn it off. Open it up. And we're gonna put in our mixture of our yeast, sugar, and then our warm water. So let's just get started with this. Since it's done blooming, just pour it in there. All of that's in there. And we use our spa we just use our spatula. Push down the sides that have the flour. Make sure it's all down, all down, beautiful, beautiful. Pat out. We're gonna close this down. Make sure it's locked. And we're gonna turn it on to setting. One, and then it's going to go up to two, and then we'll just bring it up to four at max. 
So let's get, just get started with this. Let it combine a little bit, and then we'll be ready. Okay, so every once in a while, the flour is going to go up against the walls of this bowl. So what you're going to do, when that happens, turn it off, unlock it, and you're just going to use a spatula, push down the sides. Super simple, super easy. Push down the sides, we're all good. Make sure all this dough is just off, the thingy thing. And then we're going to get back to our mixing. And we'll wait until this is a fully combined dough, and we'll be back for the next part. Okay, so now that, as you can see, our ball of dough has become an actual ball of dough. So now all this mixer is doing, it's kneading it in the bowl, and then we're going to hand knead it for around five minutes, just with a little bit of flour on our workspace, and then we're going to just put it in our bowl, let it rise for about 30 minutes, and then it should be good by then. All right, so now that our dough, it's out of the mixer, it's all ready, all we need to do, as you can see, it's all formed, all fully combined, and all we're going to do now, we're going to grab it with our hands, it's kind of sticky, and we're just going to place it onto our workspace. We've got a little bit of flour there, and we're just going to hand knead it for about five minutes, get all this flour that's on our workspace, we're just going to mix it all together inside of this. So just give it a big hand mix, and it should be good by then. Now, Mateo, how much bread is this going to make? So for this recipe right here, there's going to be about four, four little dinner rolls. Excellent. Four little dinner rolls. It's going to go perfect with our rosella and ananas. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So what are you doing there? You're just kneading it by uh, with your hands. That's good. Yep. Little that punches. That dough looks actually over. really good. It's really good. You're just folding it over. Yeah. Stretching it, pulling it over. Stretching it, pulling it over. We need a little bit of flour because it's, it's getting into the wet stuff. Right. The dry stuff is, at, is on the outside, but the wet stuff is still on the inside. Alright. So how long are you going to do that for? Around five minutes, and then once that's done, we're going um, to put a little bit of our olive oil into the back into this bowl. We're going to put the dough back in there, and then we're going to let it rise for about 30 minutes. It's going to take a little bit of time, and it's going to puff up to become a real big balloon. Excellent. Okay, so now that our bread, we've already kneaded it for about five minutes. It's been in the flour, and now all we're going to do, we have a little bit of olive oil. Remember, we don't want too much olive oil, but we're just going to use a little bit. We're going to put it into our bowl, just give it, just pour it around, and then you're just going to put it all the way around like this. You can also use a pastry brush if you want, but we can just mix it around like this. It's a little bit easier too. So we're just going to mix it around the bowl, like this. And then once it's done being mixed with all the oil, what we're going to do now, we're going to put our dough in here, just grab it, place it in here, and then we're going to put a damp towel over top of it, put it into the back, we're going to let it rest, we're going to let it rise, and it's going to become a nice big balloon, like I said. How long do you think that's going to take? That'll take around 30 minutes. So about 30 minutes. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit of time. We'll be back in 30 minutes, and we'll see if Mateo's bread rises. Awesome. All right, so we're back. It's been 30 minutes, maybe even more than that. I don't know, but our bread is ready and it's all done rising. So let's just take a let's just take a quick look. I'll take oh, off our towel. It certainly has. Give a little bit of look to the, to the so camera. It looks like that's about doubled in size from what we put in, which is which is kind of what we want, right? Yeah, that's great for sure. All right. So now our next step, it's done rising in the in this bowl. We're gonna put it back onto our workspace. Thank you. Put it onto our workspace. Give it a big punch because it's filled with hair. Oh, wow. Okay. And you look at that. It just opened up. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to flour our workspace just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give it a nice knead. Alright. Because it's nice and smooth now because of that olive oil that we put in. It has a nice... Um, oh, it's smooth. really nice and smooth. Look at that. That's great. And that's going to make four buns, you said, right? Yes, okay. it should. All right. And the way that it's springing back, that's how we know we have enough rising time for our bread. You give it a finger pull. Ready? One, two. It comes back. And it just springs back literally like in our last right. week. Okay. So what's our next step? Our next step is what we're going to do. We're going to make it into four small balls or however many you want. Mm -hmm. We're going to put it onto our pan. Brush it with a little bit of melted butter. Put whatever toppings we want on mm. before it goes baking. Let let it rest with anything that's on top of it, just for a little bit more time. And then once we're done with that, 
We're gonna let it put, we're gonna put it in the oven and we're gonna let it bake for however much time it needs. All right, let's get this thing portioned and, and shaped and onto our uh, baking sheet. For sure. All right. Okay, so now we have all of our four little balls from that big ball of dough. We're gonna make it into however, sh whatever shape we want. For us, we're gonna be doing little balls. So you're just gonna roll it in your hand, give it a nice little bit of a roll. It's not gonna be a perfect ball, but it's gonna be good enough because we're not gonna be perfect here. Cool. That's good. Like this. That's pretty good to me. Pop right. it up onto sheet. our baking sheet with our parchment paper. Next one. And we'll do this together. Just roll it in your hand like that. Yep. And then we're gonna put it onto here. Next up. Over here, over here, you roll it, you roll it, and then you place it on the top. All right. So now I think we just got to think of what kind of seasoning we want to put on. So you said some melted butter, so we, guess we have to get some butter on it. Yeah, melted. And maybe yeah. some, some sea salt. Could, yeah. Make okay. It nice and crispy. All right, let's get that ready, and then we'll get these in the oven, and then we can get a rosella going on the barbecue. Awesome. Okay. So now everything's ready. We got our melted butter, just a little bit. We got our pastry brush. We're gonna dip our pastry brush in there. We're gonna paint it on. Beautiful. Paint it on. Beautiful. Very simple. Very simple. There. That's Next one. Delicious. Paint it on real quick. Super, super simple. Super easy. Um, and after we're done with this melted butter, I think for just our seasoning, we're gonna do some pink Himalayan sea salt. That's pink salt. Pink salt is good. That's great. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, from you. you Thank you. Salt going. So this is what we have right here. Give it a light little sprinkle. Tasty. All right. Next one. Next one. And, one and final one. There we go. Right. Now they're nice and salty. They're nice and formed. Everything's coming together beautifully. We're gonna um, let it rest again with our towel. We're gonna let it rest for another maybe 10-15 minutes just to let it rise a little bit more. Put it back in the oven. And we're just gonna let it cook up and it's gonna look beautiful at the end. Amazing, all right. So Mateo's buns, they're just about ready to go in the oven. We've gotta get our masala, our blood sausage, nice and cooked. We're gonna cook this on the grill. I've got a really nice piece of foil here. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the whole sausage and I'm gonna wrap it nice and tightly into some foil. It's gonna go onto a nice hot grill for about 20 minutes. And all we wanna do is we wanna obviously heat it very, very well. Give it a little bit of crust and the barbecue will do that perfectly. And while that's gonna be on the grill, we're gonna put that on in a second. I'm gonna cut up our pineapple. We're gonna put it on our plate. We're gonna get those buns out of the oven a little bit. We're gonna put it all together and it's gonna feel just like we were in San Miguel. So we'll be right back. Okay, so our bread is done rising. Um, it has all the ingredients on top. Butter's on there, everything's all ready to go. We're gonna put it in the oven. And that's going to need around maybe 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Our oven is at 350 degrees, convection bake. So we're going to put this in the oven now. Right. Let me get that oven for you, put those in. Okay. There we do. Pop it in just real quick. All right, so we say 15 minutes or so? I would say around that, yeah. Okay. Awesome. And our, and our masala is on the grill. It's getting nice and toasty and nice and hot. And once that comes off, we're going to cut it up. We already have our plate ready with our, with our pineapple. We're gonna serve that with your beautiful, beautiful bread. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be delicious. Awesome, can't wait. Okay, our bread is done. It's been in the oven for around 15, 20 minutes. It is all ready to go. It smells so. amazing in this kitchen, so I can't wait to see this. So why don't you pull those out of the oven? Awesome. So I got get my the bread set there, yeah. Oh, they look good. Look at All these. Right, set them down. Look at that. They look great, Mateo. That looks awesome. Wow, they look really, really good. It's nice awesome. and golden brown. Okay. So I think uh, we're going to let these just cool off for a little bit. Just a little bit, yes. Five, ten minutes. Uh, the Marcella is almost finished. I'm going to pull that off the grill, let that rest for a little bit, and we're going to pull this all together mm -hmm. and then do our favorite part, which is? Tasting. The tasting. We'll be right back. All right, Mateo. We're ready to go. Awesome. The sale is off. It did look at look at look how nice and roasted that is. Okay, so it yeah. did kind of fall apart a little bit. That's okay. We have your beautiful. We put one little roll here in the center with yep. a pineapple around. And all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut little chunks of this really nice rosella, and I'm just going to stick it right in between each one. Cut another piece here. Looks awesome. Looks good, eh? 
We're just going to just alternate in between the pineapple and a little piece of fennel. All right. And we'll do this one here. And one more. I have to say, it really turned out beautiful. It smells really good, too. Let's just get this piece off like that. We'll put that there. All right. And there we have it. This smells so good in this kitchen. Mateo, we're going to just set this aside for a second. There is our plate. This is our take of Mursala Cuenanage, Portuguese blood sausage with pineapple, a dish that we enjoyed so many times on our trip to San Miguel six years ago. Yeah. We just recreated it today. You made some really awesome bread. Yeah. I can't wait to dig in. So what do you it. say? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, we have our knife. Well, you have your knife and fork there. I'm going to use this fork here. Let's just break this bread here. It's still nice and warm. Oh, look at that, Mateo. That's great. Looks awesome. Here, you can take that. It's a little bit hot. It'll probably be hot, yeah. And let's just dig right in. I'm going to just cut a little piece of this. I'll take this one here. I'll cut this one right here. All right. Here. I'll cut some of this. Okay, All just right. a little bit. Use the bread. All together. Mm. <laughs> That's a good bite. Me too. <laughs> that is so delicious. Arnold, what, what do you think? It is awesome. We took massive bites. Mm. That is so good. I can close my eyes and picture myself back in San Miguel. That is so, so good. Mateo, awesome job. That was a lot of fun. Very different than what we've done in MJ cooking. Mm -hmm. But nevertheless, something that brings us back to our roots. Special to our hearts. I had a lot of fun. Great Thank job, you. pal. Your Thank bread you. is delicious. Awesome. All right. All right. And that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.